My name is Madeleine Thorne. I'm the Community Engagement Manager at Opera North. Uh, and I'm here to manage a five-year project which is kindly funded by the Paul Hamlin Foundation, which is all about Opera North opening up our work to people that would maybe normally have barriers to engaging with what we do. The Community Partner Scheme came about because we wanted to get to know the groups that we were working with a little bit better. So we thought if we could take a smaller number of groups and really build up quite an intensive relationship with them over the course of a year, then that would really help us to properly get to know the groups that we are interested in, in kind of being accessible to. Since we attended the first opera, we had a chance to, to discuss about it when we went back to the office and I would say it, my, my opinion before was that I always felt like opera was for, for other people, not me. Having had an opportunity to come here, thanks to, to Opera North, I, I would really say I've changed my mind and my ideas have, have changed. I heard one woman that is um, an offender um, so she's getting support to not re-offend and she said that she felt her worries drift away and she lost herself in opera for two hours and she forget who she was and why she was in trouble and that's what makes the difference. Most some of the clients made the parallel with their traditional stories because they stories of love or tragedy and, and betrayal and, and love and all sort of things that's quite universal. So I think for some clients it was an opportunity to sort of make that parallel between opera and what is their sort of traditional stories. Also, as well as giving them the opportunity to come and see lots of things, we've also been able to take work out to them and that's been what's, what's really special. So we've taken out several taster performances which have in all different ways introduced some of the operas and some of the performances before they actually come to the Grand Theatre itself. So what that's meant is it's become more of a two-way dialogue I suppose and it's given those people that work with those specific groups a much deeper understanding of some of the work that we do here and as a result hopefully they've had a really a real good familiarity with some of the pieces and they've hopefully therefore enjoyed it that bit more. We always have a better turnout when they see these little taster sessions so they know what they're coming to watch. Beginning they were a bit scared to say yes. Many of them like I don't think um, I'll enjoy it but people have come back to me saying how much they enjoyed it. Um, even though it's in a different language um, they just enjoyed this, the setting and the aura the whole um, the grant gives. As I said before, they just want to come now. <laughs> they can't have enough. I, I saw little acting scenes. They came down and did a couple of acting scenes. We joined in with them. They were very nice, very entertaining. And they um, helped us to understand the opera more once we went to see it. We got a foresight, which was very good, because we knew what, knew how, how the set were at and that, what the story was about. It's easier to go to see a story when you know the story. You can put the pieces together, it's like a jigsaw. Now I've got the four corners, you don't know where the middle is. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed coming to all the operas that I've come to, and been feel very privileged and very lucky We've been offered tickets to come and met some lovely people, enjoyed some lovely evenings out, and I've also passed it on to other people. And which is because before I didn't realise what opera was about. I just thought it was a load of people sort of singing in a high pitched voice and all, but I've seen another side of life. I think what's really surprised me is just how open most people have been to coming to um, to see opera. Um, I, I obviously was aware before I started the job that, that I was likely to face certain preconceptions um, that we can all think of. People sometimes assume that opera is going to be for posh people or that it's very expensive or that you have to get very dressed up or that you won't understand it. Um, and I have had people say those things to me now and then um, but what's really been amazing is that people have just embraced what we've got to offer and actually been really open-minded about it and just gone yes I'll come and I'll try it and so many people have fallen in love with it just as a result of just saying yes.